What is up, YouTube and Clash of Clans community? Lieutenant Nixon here bringing you my educational series. This is episode number four, Complete Guide to Barbarians. In this episode, I'll be going over the Barbarian, and I'm going to do a detailed look and see what these battle brutes can do. The Barbarian is a melee unit. He will attack any ground units or ground defenses that he comes across. The Barbarian is the first unit that you unlock when you get your first level 1 barracks. He is also the least expensive troop to make with the least amount of elixir training cost, which makes him perfect when you want to drop in trophy count to farm lower levels. Even at level 6, he only costs 150 elixir to create, making him the least expensive and most efficient troop to have in your troop composition. Barbarians are slightly slower than archers. At levels 1 and 2, the Barbarian doesn't have the headband. At levels 3 and 4, he gets his headband. At level 5, he gets a bronze sword. He also gets to sport the new Viking helmet at level 5. At level 6, he gets a sharper sword, and he gets a mask slash dark helmet where the horns face outward instead of upward. The level 6 Barbarian has been around since the February 5th update, costs 4.5 million to research and takes 10 days to research. Barbarians are perfect for taking out lone buildings such as builders huts while you're in battle. Again, your enemy puts them there so that you can't three star their base. Just drop a couple barbs next to them before you attack the main base so that you don't have to worry about them at the end. All right, check check out this attack. Doing 200 barbarians on this base, bringing in their king. Can't go without their leader. There's so many resources in this battle. I love it. So I wrap them all the way around, and the barbarians just start, start demolishing, getting whatever resources they can. They're having a hard time on the walls, and they're just getting blasted. Check out that bottom left. It took them forever to get through that wall. Walls are the Barbarian's biggest enemy, as you can see. It didn't stop him from getting all the resources on the outer buildings, which I'm glad all those resources were in there and not inside the storages. This is a fun battle, though. This was me testing my grounds and seeing how 200 Barbarians could do. I must have done, like, I don't know, 20 different battles with 200 Barbarians to find one that I liked, and I, I didn't really find one that I liked. Not while just using barbarians on their own. Check it out. They're not really good on these high-level walls. That purple tower of death just rains damage on them. Three-shotting all of them. I don't know how many barbarians I must have used trying to break into that wall, but it was a ton. Wall breakers are a must when it comes to using barbarians. Check it out, they still haven't made it through that wall yet. That level 8 wall. Did I say level 8? That's level 7. Yep, finally made it. Alright, I don't know about you, but I'm tired of watching these barbarians struggle. Let's see what they can do if we use one as a distraction, and then drop in a couple wall breakers. After that wall's down, all I have to do is drop a bunch of barbarians spread out, so that those shots don't just take them out all at once. From that splash damage, and it take it took way less barbarians to take them out. Those barbarians are so much happier. Happy barbarians, triumphant. That almost seemed just too easy. Make sure you bring some wall breakers with you when you bring barbarians. Makes for happy barbs. Barbarians and wall breakers work hand in hand. If you don't use a barbarian to distract, you're gonna lose your wall breakers. See, one of them just got taken out. That one gets taken out. Have to drop two more just to pop that outer wall. Mortars don't stand a chance against barbarians because they go within their dead zone, that little red circle within the mortar where the mortar can't attack. Notice the mortar never gets even one shot off of that big group of barbarians that come in. Mortar doesn't even stand a chance. Just one more pack of barbarians takes out that mortar. Last hit. Here's the last fun fact about barbarians. 
When you click on the army camp, they thrust their sword into the air. One thing I've learned in this episode when filming it and, and getting together all the different clips for it, I noticed that barbarians don't do that well on their own. They do okay. I mean, they can hold their own, but they're definitely better when you combine wall breakers and archers, giants, healers. There's all sorts of things to help them out. If you want to check out another like 200 Barbarian battle, check out Chief Pat Play Clash of Clans single unit series. He has a really cool video on it. And I just want to do another shout out for Chief Pat. Thanks for adding me to your channel, brother. Okay, so last but not least, I have my HTK Hits to Kill section. I actually, through feedback from you guys, I split it up into a different video. So if you're interested in the Hits to Kill, make sure and click on the link. Click anywhere on this page, and it'll take you over to the Hits to Kill video. It's a, a part two of this Complete Guide to Barbarians. And uh, I decided to split it up just so that those of you that want to sit through it and listen to my uh, opinion on uh, different things on the Hits to Kill, you can check that out. For those of you watching from a mobile device, there's a link down in the description to the second half of this video for Hits to Kill. Alright, so that's going to wrap things up for the complete guide to Barbarians. What would you guys like to see next? Giants or goblins? Put it down in the comments what you'd like to see. I know a lot of people voted for goblins, so it's probably going to lean that way. But uh, I want to see what you guys want. If you want giants, I'll give you giants. If you want goblins, I'll give you a complete guide to goblins. So make sure to leave a comment. Also, like this video if you liked it. Share it with your friends. When you share it via Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, any way that you share it helps my channel grow. And if you're not a subscriber already, subscribe so that you can get more videos. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.